sun. Okay, let's go to Soul Cycle, Brooklyn Heights. My first time going over there. Let's plug it into the map. 20 minute drive. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Brooke. We are gonna have a cute little Brooklyn morning. We're gonna explore, I mean, I've been there before, but like more of like Brooklyn Heights, Borum Hill, downtown Brooklyn this morning. We gotta take a Soul Cycle class. I wanted to sit down and properly thank Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. I love working with Lululemon. I have been really fitting in fitness in my life as like such a balanced thing. And I feel like with Lululemon, I'm able to do that because it's the perfect athleisure. Like the stuff will just take you right from like, you know, your workout classes to coffee with friends, to hangouts with friends, to work, whatever in between. Starting off, um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing currently. We'll start with the leggings because I can't take them off. These are the Align Flared. The quest for the perfect flare, it's hard to find. These are literally like my favorite legging mixed with a flare. And it is just the best. Not only is it comfortable, but it's actually really cute and flattering, I find too. In this video, you saw like I wore them out and about with Uggs. The flare is just so cute. I'm obsessed. I love the black. I wear a size six in Lululemon bottoms, by the way. And wow, oh my God. Thank you, Lululemon, for creating these. Currently on top, I am wearing the Define Jacket Luan. I love this color. This is just the best jacket of all time. I feel like it really snatches you and it makes me feel so confident. I love wearing this with like my sports bra and my leggings when I'm like walking to spin class and then I could take it off but then on my walk home I could like zip myself back up. Perfect for layering in the fall. I also have this in a bunch of colors. I love the thumb holes. I just feel so like put together and polished when I wear this. Next we'll talk about the next sweatshirt that I love so much that I was also wearing the clip when I interrupted this. It's the scuba oversized half zip hoodie and I have it in this gorgeous like what do we want to call it? Like almost like a green. I have this in many colors. Again, another staple. Lululemon has great quality like sweatshirts. They're really nice. They actually keep you warm. They hold up really well over time. I love the crop on this. I think it's really flattering. Throw it on after your workout. Once again, like if you live in a climate like me, you know, something like in New York, whatever, where you're like needing to layer up. This is perfect. The workout set that I'm wearing underneath this, I tried out a new pair of Lululemon leggings. These are the Swift Speed High Rise Tight. These are truly made for like intensity. They're great for me because I do spinning, but if you're like running or doing a hit class or something, these are perfect. I got the 28 inch length and I really like them. They have a ton of like useful pockets and things. They also have a drawstring waist, which I think is really nice. So you can like pull it, you know, snatch it into place a little bit more. And speaking of being held in, I think I found one of my new favorite sports bras. This is the Lululemon Energy Bra High Support. So this is made for B to triple D cups. I have to say I wore this bra to spin in and I felt secure, snatched, clips in the back like a regular bra. You could totally wear this with like a shirt over it too. But when I spin, I typically just do a sports bra and leggings. So this was a good combo for me. I would say if you're looking for like a supportive bra, this is it. It really snatches you in place. And yeah, those are the fall pieces from Lululemon that I'm loving, turning to a lot recently. Definitely let me know what you guys are loving from Lululemon. It's just stuff that I have forever, you know, season over season. I'm always gonna reach for my line leggings. I'm always gonna reach for my Define jackets. Lululemon is that girl. And I will have all of the items that I talked about linked down below. I think that's it. Let's get back to the video. All right, we're literally driving directly. This is like downtown Brooklyn over here. This is the Barclay Center. They're developing over here so quickly. I feel like that's everywhere in the city, but like I swear some of these skyscrapers were not here. Like that one, that tall skinny one right there, I know that that's like new and like electric. It's electric. I feel like this isn't even just New York. Of course in Manhattan, they're developing quickly like certain areas but i feel like this part of brooklyn well i guess like even williamsburg too just in like the year that i've kind of like done this drive to go over to ben's because he lives like further in in brooklyn i've just seen it change like a lot so yeah like a lot of these are new it's so nice on a sunday because there's like no traffic as with every new neighborhood that i explore i'm obsessed i could just tell but let's go looks like some of this stuff here is closed but there's a sephora on the corner and the soul cycle's right there poop guys i just took jack hours class i don't think he teaches a lot i think he has like another job but he was great it was really fun a lot of pop music now we're gonna go explore there are so many cute like things around here and there's some sort of street fair today okay like tell me this doesn't look like it's out of a movie this looks like a movie set it's adorable there are so many families little like brownstones the decor <laughs> i'm like oddly oddly emotional today and there are so many like families out with their kids like pointing at the pumpkins and stuff 
too cute. I actually can't handle it. The, the craziest thing about New York is that you just like stumble into this. Like we were just in like major metropolitan like skyscrapers and then like a few blocks away is this. I am obsessed. This must be like a thing in the neighborhood. They all have like skeletons that have like different things on them. Like this one has like a Henry Miller book. It's a little pirate. So now I'm trying to go to apartment 4F. I've been wanting to go here for a while. It's a bakery. The line might be insane, but we're gonna see. The line is down the block. So I should have known, but it's really cute. Maybe I'll come back another time. I did see this on TikTok though, so let's go in. I'm excited. This is so cute. They have like little like note cards. I couldn't go into the really cute bookstore without getting a book, obviously, so I got this one. We'll see how it is. All right, I'm all sorts of spun around. I don't even know where I parked, but I'm literally obsessed with this neighborhood. I wish I wore like a cuter outfit because I feel like everybody's so adorable. The kids in the bookstore, it was doing it for me. So I watched the mom tell the kids like, just get one today. Very cute. All right, now I think we'll go to Trader Joe's and stuff. It's like a bit of a walk from here, so maybe I'll move my car, but I love it over here. I'm actually so happy I accidentally stumbled upon that bookstore because I've been wanting to see it. I saw it on TikTok, just like the sign, obviously it's so pink and like fun, but it's so cute that they have like the little personalized recommendations from all the people who work there. They were super nice and friendly. A lot of the books I noticed were signed copies. So I guess like a lot of authors must like go in there and do stuff. All right, clearly I'm not at Trader Joe's. I am back in bed while well, I showered and everything, um, but didn't end up going to Trader Joe's. We went and got bagels for lunch and then that's it. I feel like I just was like, oh, we're not gonna go right now. So I'll go maybe later today or tomorrow. I'm in bed. I'm gonna do some reading. I was just doing some flight bookings, things coming up, friends, bachelorettes, etc. Lots of exciting stuff going on in the next few months and even into next year, which is exciting. So I'll be here chilling. Oh, I can show you guys. This is what I'm currently reading. Ruth Ware, Zero Days. I'm only like a little bit in, so I can't really give an opinion yet, but I'll be here. The guest, Emma Klein, on one of those note cards that one of the employees wrote as a recommendation for this was like, it's giving like sort of White Lotus. It's about a woman who she's living um, with an older man in the Hamptons and then she gets kicked out. But I'm gonna finish what I'm reading now. Also got some goldfish. Mm. We're back in the Lower East Side for dinner. Technically like East Village really. But place is supposed to be really good. I've been wanting to go. It's called Foul Witch, so let's check it out. It's so popular that we had to make a reservation for like 9.30 at night. So we showed up a little early, but I think they are gonna let us in. I'm hungry. Guys, dinner last night was very interesting. I didn't realize quite how dynamic the menu was. This place opened up by me and I think it, it's not Michelin rated, but it's like on the Michelin website, which I think just generally means that they like approve it, like it's a cool spot. I know that it was like really, you know, people were talking about it, whatever, so it's like, I have to go. I wouldn't consider myself to be a picky eater, but it was a lot of fish. And I feel like I only really do like tuna and salmon, whatever. We ended up finding a bunch of stuff and it was good. We got like the beans, the bread was delicious, wine was good, my pasta even was good. But then we got the hen as our like main course. Guys, this is how it came to the table. I will insert a picture. I was so scarred by this visual. The claw, I think it was just for decor, but it was just so jarring. I was like, that is so disgusting. Like you could literally see it's like nails. I was like, I'm done. All right, thank you respectfully. I'm gonna head out. I mean, that's how it's designed to come. Like that is just how it comes. So I'm sure some people like that, but for me, I was just like, whoa. And I thought that I would show you guys the picture of it because I was like, honestly, not even about to take a picture. I was like, it's just, it's too much. And Ben was like, take a picture, you're gonna want it. That was that. And now clearly it's the next day. It's Monday and we're gonna have a good week. I think that people are about to come into my apartment to do some construction on the balcony, which is exciting. They're trying to get it done this week, hopefully because I'm gonna need the progress to move. I just put on like a little bit of light makeup because I need to film a few things. I air wrapped my hair last night before we went to dinner. I've been doing this, I know it's kind of gross, but I don't wash my hair after my workout. Not every time, like I try to go every other time. Washing my hair so I don't have to wash my hair every day. And then I just air wrap it. I wait for it to like air dry, but then I'll like just go in and style it with the air wrap and it honestly ends up looking kind of fine. This is like second day and I've like brushed it out and stuff. So I have to film some stuff for some brands. I also want to edit up some reels. I've also been working on my holiday gift guides, which has been so fun. I'm gonna put them all on my LTK this year and move it to film for a brand in here because the lighting in this corner is pretty decent. I like 
moved around these storage things that I have. I have two of them in my bathroom. I love these. They're like not super hard to build. I showed them in an older vlog, but they are these like storage things from Amazon. I think they actually look like pretty sleek, except for I have like a messy basket there with all of my hair tools. But besides that, they fit a ton of stuff. Oh, this is a sneak peek to my Halloween costume, this yellow here. Ooh, they really keep me a little bit more organized and tucked away. And I think that they were not too expensive if I recall. I have them linked on my Amazon shop. You can check them out. But yeah, I got completely ready to film um, some sponsored content. You know, we're going into the holiday time. So that is what is happening. But honestly, also kind of just like getting ahead because I'm gonna be away a lot of next week for the live shows, which is so crazy. Oh my God, they're here, which is so wild. I just realized you can see me in the back there. So like me bending my body. Do I think I'm a model or something? This t-shirt is from Free People. When I first like held it up, I was like, okay, this is made for like a toddler, but it, it had a good amount of stretch. I do really like it. I feel like my mom, this is such a mom, Adina coated outfit. She wears like a neutral tee and like jeans, Adina coated. And my hair is kind of giving Adina coated. I don't know how it ended up like this. People on Instagram are like, how hair tutorial, not that it's anything remarkable, but yesterday after I worked out, let my hair air dry and then I sectioned my hair into three sections, you know, like bottom, middle, top. And I used these barrels for my Dyson. I think these are the thin long ones. Pretty sure. This is what like the thicker barrel looks like. And then, so these are the thin ones and I have them for longer hair. I could probably just use the regular one, but I like the longer ones cause then I could get it all up in one shot, you know? I go through such phases with this thing. I feel like I won't touch it for months, but right now I'm, I'm using it heavy and it really, it helps. A girly who can't really do her hair, it helps. Oh, this is exciting. This is back in stock. I don't know if it is when this video goes up cause I feel like it sells out so fast. But this is the Way and Dead Cool collab. They, it's like a detergent. It's a little pricey. It's definitely expensive for a detergent. Do not get me wrong. But it is good. It smells like that Way scent, Melrose Place, if you've ever, ever smelled it before. Delicious. Delectable. And they came out with dryer sheets. Or maybe they had these, but I didn't know that they did. And they sent these both to me and I'm really excited. But I don't even want to open it yet because not even that I go through it so fast, but I want to like use these two matching. And I feel like I want to go through the other stuff that I have right now before I use this, like, because I savor this. One thing about me is that I'm a coffee girly. You guys know that. I will always try out new types of coffee. So I saw my friend Margo post about this and I was like, all right, I have to try this out for myself. So I got a package delivered. They sent it like via Uber courier. So it's straight up like from the place, the cheese store on Long Island. And they specialize in like different types of iced coffee. And they have a bajillion flavors. Apparently they're like lightly sweet and you could buy just like the cartons of the iced coffee pre-made. Then you could like, you know, add your own milk and stuff to it. And I saw Marco post about the flavors and I was like, all right, immediately ordering. And they stay good in the fridge. Like if you don't open them for I think like a month. So I decided, I mean, I was like, if I'm gonna place an order, I'm gonna place an order. So let me show you guys what we got. And of course we're gonna make an afternoon brew. The menu was crazy. They had all different types. They did have a lot of flavors of peanuts. I asked, they said no cross contamination. So I got four bags of coffee. They come with like the little spurt spout thing. So it's super easy. It was just me here. So I figured this would be good. And I'll show you guys the flavors I got. This is so cool. I got Cinnabon, which is actually what I think I'm gonna have today. I'm like really in the mood for that right now. For some reason cinnamon sounds really good. But then this sounds like too. Oreo. I don't know how sweet they are. It says that they're sweetened, but I'm not sure how sweet. Pumpkin spice, of course, I figured I had to try for the season. And then this one is black and white. It was under the like, vanilla section. So how cool is this? So I'm pretty sure it's just the black iced coffee on the inside. I have to look up the price. How much was it? So each of these bags was $15. And then I just have to pay for the delivery too. So I'm gonna make a coffee and then just add my own almond milk and like ice and stuff. And like I said, I think I wanna do that cinnamon, but I don't know, the Oreo also sounds good. I feel like Oreo is like an extravagant flavor. So maybe like we'll do that. Cause it's like, that's funky, right? Oh, there we go. I got this Hello Kitty ice tray thing. All right, first I'm gonna try it just as black iced coffee and then I'll see. I'm probably gonna need creamer. I always have creamer, but. I do taste the Oreo, very subtle. I feel like the creamer will bring it out. 
It's really good. It's subtly sweet. Like it, it's not even sweet. It's almost like the flavor of it is there though. Maybe other ones are stronger, but it's really good. I'm like happy I found this. I just find this like so convenient. The idea of the like bags that you just put in the fridge. How great. Doing so well. Good morning guys. Wearing our merch. You can still order it. It is a pre-order so basically they're collecting all the orders and then they're gonna do like one big like printing shipment our matchbox collection i'm just wearing this cute vest I'm leaving brooklyn now i slept at ben's last night he's about to have exams so I'm not gonna be able to see him for a little bit well like i could but you know like i, I don't like to be a distraction so I was just trying to like get in all the time that I could. We both were. I brought over one of those bags of iced coffee to his to give to him the black and white flavor. And I just put some ice in it, a little milk, regular milk, and a little whipped cream this morning. And it is delicious. This one's like slightly sweeter. I think this must be allergies what I have because I've had like a cold for three weeks. At this point, I'm like, it has to be allergies because I really feel fine, but I'm like just so stuffed up. So I'm gonna try taking allergy medication for a few days and see if that helps. We're gonna drive back to Manhattan now. It's 8.40 in the morning. Danielle has been home, home in Florida. And I feel like it's not that like I get a vacation too, but I feel like a lot of our work is together. So when she's like home, I get a little more chill time because like those times that I would normally be like, we would be working stuff together. Like we like pre-recorded and did a bunch of stuff. We're doing a few recordings on Thursday to get ahead for the shows, more prep for those, etc. So let's go back to Manhattan now. Took my allergy medication, assuming that it's allergies, but Clara got me inspired to order these. They took a little bit to get here. The wellness formula, but they're tablets. I know Danielle takes these too. I tried them in the pill form. The taste was really bad. So I'm hoping that the tablets are a little bit better. You are supposed to take these and they're loaded up with like a ton of vitamins. Later, I am going to shoot some content like outfits. I am not really one to like go out and be like, let me take outfit pictures, but I kind of want to get more into it. Not just like the outfits of it, but just, I feel like it helps me be a little more consistent with posting on Instagram. It's not even that fashion's my thing, it's more so just showing off like the pieces that I'm liking and using in like a way that's not just like in a, buried in a YouTube video. For example, I just got sent this gorgeous new purse and I really want to showcase it in a way that like is valuable to the brand. So I feel like by going out and like taking an outfit picture with it, or I guess you could use it in like a real or short form piece of content, but I feel like a picture is like really valuable for that. This bag is so cute. It's from this brand, Gerard Darrell, and it has this strap. I think you can go long or short strap with it, which I love, a convertible. Really wait till the very last day that I like possibly can without my toenails like breaking off to get my gel pedicure. I think you're only supposed to leave them on for like two to three weeks, but I, I push it, I push it. Gonna go get a gel pedicure. Just finished up. I'm not gonna show you guys my feet because that's weird and people take pictures and put them on the internet. It's just bizarre. But I'm gonna go to Dwayne Reed right now and pick up some more allergy medication. I think it it's working. It's working, so I wanna stock up. I do really like the feel of like the Lower East Side, East Village area, like down over here. There are a few like streets here in the East Village that are a little more chill. Walgreens Hall, the smallest thing ever. Did you know that you're supposed to replace these loofahs every 30 days? Um I was looking at mine recently. I was like, that's pretty dirty. Got another loofah, got some gum. What's your favorite brand of gum? Comment below. <sighs> I'm being dead serious, please do. Wipes, about to be traveling, but I also like to keep these in my car. And then I got, what I went for, Allegra. Also let me know your favorite allergy medicine. Cause like, is this the favorite? What are we liking? I am in the middle of putting new sheets on my bed. I have been like, in my makeup era, but not that I'm like even trying anything new. I just have been really enjoying like the process of sitting down and doing it. I don't like particularly think that like my skin looks amazing or anything like that, but I did want to talk about the eyeshadow because I do think that that is, the eyeshadow is eyeshadowing. Let me find the products. Here they are. Well, these are the products. They're the Fenty Beauty Shadow Sticks. I love a shadow stick. You swipe it on, you blend it in, you're done. You don't even have to blend it. They stay for a while. I like all of them, but I've been using these two matte ones that I have specifically. Come and get it. And this one's in the shade Shroom Mate. I probably could use one that's like slightly different because these are very, very similar. This one's just like, I don't even know. This one's a little more pinky maybe. But basically I just reach around in my makeup bag, I grab whatever one's available. I already did it 
but I'll just show you guys like I just swipe it basically all over my eye and I've been blending it more like up sultry yeah that's what it is I was gonna say seductive come and get it I'm literally losing my mind I don't know I'm just grabbing this random eyeshadow brush now from morphe do you guys have like matching sets of makeup brushes or do you just kind of like have ones that you've acquired through the years because I feel like I've gotten sets but like the ones that are, I actually like regularly use are just random one-off ones I feel like they would be more economically efficient and like smart to just like buy a big set but at the same time I'm just randomly grabbing I do use a little bit of this one that has like a little bit of shimmer not too much because I, I kind of am like getting over that look of like really like I mean, I still like it. I think that it's fun and I always will be like a girly that puts like, you know, a little champagne in the corner, but I feel like I used to overdo it. So now I just like to like lightly go in and just like brighten the first half of my eyelid. So I'm just putting a little bit of this on the brush. This is shade three fizzy frosé. A little bit and then I kind of like blend that out. So it's like barely even like chunks of shine into the more like matte looks these days I'm just really big into like cream products right now i just do feel like you need to set them with powder they look really good i guess you don't have to set it with powder like eyeshadow but i feel like if i use a creamy blush or something like i do need to kind of set it that's maybe that's just my theories oh i also have this shade i guess that i use sometimes too get on top but it's taupe get on taupe t-a-u-p-e these shade names are unhinged oh my god who wrote these i think i have my outfits picked out at least i have one it's been really helpful for me to just follow certain formulas with outfits if i see someone wearing something that i like i like try to break it down very very granularly okay she's wearing a brown top jeans a boot a fun colored bag so trying to just like look at things like more objectively versus being like okay i need like the perfect brown flowy top and it's like, no, you could just use like a brown top. Pinterest has been that girl for me. I shot around town. Well, we did go to this one cool place, so I will talk about this. There's this place called Felt Bagels. It's run by a woman who is an artist. Her name is Lucy. I learned about it and it's in the East Village. Basically, it just looks like a bodega deli, literally like a bagel shop, one part of it. But instead of actual real food, it's all felt like things. By the way, we're also eating. Um, I picked up some sushi, but felt like of your favorite things. Like they had like, you know, an Oreo container. They had like cornflakes. Literally everything that you could think of that's like a brand name and not. So cool. I didn't get anything because I couldn't think of what to get. And I was like, I don't want to just get clutter to get clutter. But I'm thinking about it because it's open only for a few more days. So by the time this video is up, I don't even know. Actually, it might be open for a few more days when this video goes up. So you should definitely check it out if you live in New York and you're like just looking for a way to like spend the day, honestly. It's definitely worth seeing. It's really cool. And then I went over to Bon Bon, my favorite candy store. And I got so much candy because I'm having a pregame here. I want to do some fun like holiday festive things for it. Like make a drink, like nothing crazy. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, it's Halloween. Today, when I was at Walgreens, I saw candy. I was like, oh, candy, that's so fun. I was like, oh, wow. Well, I can go to my favorite candy store and get some candy to have at the pregame. That's so fun. So I got some candy. You guys will see them in the next vlog because that will be like the prep for the pregame, you know? If the sushi not even that good, it's just hitting right now. Guys, I cannot stop watching canceled podcast. Like, I know I talked about this in the last vlog, but like, all I want to do right now is turn it on. I feel like, like, they're so, like, they're like my comfort people to watch right now. It is space heater season in New York. I feel like I explain this every year that like winter rolls around in New York, but in New York, I don't know if it's like this in other cities. Let me know if it's like this in your city. The heating and cooling, if it's not central, I guess, or maybe even if it is central, I don't know, I have like wall units, but basically like my building decides if we are heating or if we are cooling. And October is always like a weird middle ground. I know there's like heating laws and stuff, but it's like, it's not too cold outside, but I just like run pretty cold. So I, <laughs> I do have the space heater on because my, the heating isn't on yet. I started washing the sheets like this morning and I'm just now making my bed at like 9.30 at night. Honestly, I want to crawl into it right now. I do love shade. 